Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is a escape from mount into a heel hook. Uh, before we get to that though, I, I have to give a shout out to Nelson Fuentes. Uh, he went ahead and donated to my World Championship Fund. Um, and I wanted to say thank you very much, Nelson. You're an awesome dude. For the rest of you that, that reached that uh, contribution level, Trust me, I will be going through for everybody and giving you a shout out. But um, Nelson was the first one, so he gets the first shout out. All right, so I'm in a bad spot. Steve here has gone into mount. So the first thing that I want to do is I don't want to put my hands up here and get space because I'm getting claustrophobic. That's not going to help anything. It's probably just going to get me arm locked or choked. So I want to keep my hands in on his hips at the very least. And there's two ways of doing it. We're going to go through the bump way um, because I think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to keep my hands here. I'm going to post my feet nice and flat so I've got a good bridging surface. I'm going to bridge them this way, up and sideways. Okay, That angle is going to allow me to, to just shrimp in nice and tight. So I bridge up and sideways. And as soon as we're here, this knee comes through. Okay, My other leg comes around to lace. And about the time when you get in front of it, you can either push them down with your foot or you can just try and stick your foot flat on the floor and he'll he'll kick over for you. Okay, but not if you don't try and go to that that hip. As soon as he's down here, you squeeze your knees together, come back through, collect his heel, hands together, hug in tight. Okay, and we turn our shoulders this way. Okay, don't just use your hands and look down at it because you can notice that's not really hurting him too much. The minute I actually move my shoulders and try and Work with it, that's when you get the tap. Okay, so a little bit faster, hands on hips, okay, feet flat on the ground so I can bridge, bridge up and to the side. Okay, and around to the other side. Now this, the second way of doing this usually happens when the guy's a lot bigger than you and you can't bridge him up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pop on my hip and jam that elbow in on his knee to make some space. Okay, so uh, I tried to bridge him, no doing, okay? Keep this elbow in nice and tight and then really shrimp hard on my side and pop my elbow out and get that knee in. Okay, as soon as we're here, we're going to swim this far leg up and lace the outside, okay? Lace, push with that knee, step over, and there you go, heel hook, okay? Again, try to bridge, nothing doing, okay, shrimp hard, pop that knee out, okay? Step over, nice and tight, and there's your heel hook, okay? So mount escape to heel hook.